Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlifegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial I'm just going to be teaching you guys a little trick that I used to keep letters outside of my text boxes so let's say you only want them to put numbers in there well here's a simple trick that you can use for this now if you don't uh, remember what this is and you haven't seen the recursion tutorial uh, that doesn't matter because we're not going to be working with anything that we've already made so we'll just go ahead and get some of this stuff out of the way. So now let's come back to our form1.vb design. We'll select our text box form. Let's go over here to the lightning bolt and we'll double click on the text change event. So every time they change the text of this text box, what we want to do is see if they put any um, letters or numbers in it. So we can just do try. And so what we're going to do is we're going to try to convert whatever they have in there to a double. So we'll do convert dot to double and then we'll do text box one dot text. Now if they put an integer in there um, that does not have a decimal value, this will still work because doubles are not required to have uh, decimals in them. It just automatically adds the decimal once you access them again. So let's say we type in the number 11 and then we print out uh, the output of this, it's going to give us 11.0 and it'll still work if you if that is pretty much an integer so now if we get an error for this what we want to do is we just want to tell them message box not show please only type numbers and then after that let's go ahead and clear that text box so text box one dot clear Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. And you can see that we can type 1, 2, we can just keep adding numbers in here. And then if we overflow, it should give us an error. But let's say, uh, and then you can see here that if there's nothing in there, it says please only type numbers. So what we can do to this is enclose this entire try catch statement in an if statement. So if text box 1 dot text dot length is greater than zero so if there's actually something inside of it then we'll go ahead and use this and if not um, then it's not going to go ahead and try that try to convert that to a double because there's nothing there so let's go ahead and run this again and you can see that if we type in let's say a it says please only type numbers and it clears everything out of there and it says please only type numbers we can type 20 234 and then if we put a, um, a character right there, it says, please only type numbers. Now, it will also, it'll also clear the text box if we do, let's say, an at sign or something like uh, the tilde key or whatever that's called under the escape. So this is just an easy way to keep numbers outside of your text boxes. And you can modify this any way you want uh, to where you can only allow them to use integers or shorts or whatever you want. Um, and so go ahead if you have any programs that you've been wondering how to do that go ahead and add this in there for the text change events and um, you don't really need much practice with this but once you understand this right here go ahead and move on to the next tutorial 